What is minimalism? Those are the people that wear the same thing every day and only have one fork, right? Wrong. Well, for the most part. Minimalism goes well beyond the possession of material things, or the lack thereof. Minimalism is a choice to live intentionally, to reduce and minimize distractions in our lives that don't add value. We just finished the festive frenzy known as Black Friday, or shall I say Black Friday week, or actually, we might as well just call November Black Friday month, where advertisers and companies try to convince the masses that this is the deal of a lifetime. And if you don't take advantage of these deals, then you are missing out on happiness. This consumer mentality has led to many believing that the only path worth taking in life is to find a job that pays a lot of money so you can afford things that you think will make you happy, or at least will provide the appearance for you to portray happiness. About six months ago is when I first heard of the concept of minimalism. And right away, I was really drawn to it and wanted to learn more. The idea of simplifying your life and reducing anything that doesn't add value was honestly very fascinating to me. And I remember one day uh, looking at all of my clothes and you know, truly I had more options than my closet could even fit. And I remember just looking at all of them and still thinking that I had nothing to wear. And it was kind of one of those epiphany type moments where I realized that having more stuff doesn't actually make me feel any better. And it was around that same time that my wife and I started and we're currently still in the very long process of slowly just getting rid of things that don't add value. Some people on the internet will tell you minimalism is a formula. That to be a minimalist, you can have no more than two pairs of socks, only have dishes for the amount of people in your home, only the bare basics for food, and don't you ever put anything on your shelves except your glasses. Truth is, minimalism will look differently for each individual. It is certainly not a formula. At its core, minimalism is all about recognizing and distinguishing between the things that add value to your life and those that don't. If it adds value, then keep it. If it doesn't, do your best and try and get rid of it. If you love books, then keep your books. If you love sneakers, then keep your shoe collection. For us, we have a few things around our home that we feel best represent us and add value, therefore we keep them. Minimalism is definitely not about becoming a hermit and getting rid of everything that you own just for the sake of getting rid of everything. If you want to learn more, I highly recommend checking out the documentary called Minimalism. It's really a great place for you to start if you want to learn more and figure out if minimalism is right for you. Ultimately, at the end of the day, we need to make our own choices and make decisions that actually benefit us and our loved ones. Minimalism isn't necessarily the right choice, it's just a different one. If simplifying your life by decluttering distractions sounds appealing, then minimalism might be for you. My name is Michael Amsel, thanks for watching today's video, and I will see you next week.